Are you looking for an engaging activity to get your students talking and on task for the beginning of every math class? Wow, this is the video for you. Well, hey there, my name's Tom Moore, and I strongly believe that when teaching students mathematics, we also develop their ability to communicate as well. And this is for two main reasons. The first reason is that when we get students to work together to solve a problem, it's important that they can communicate their thinking so that they can work together in order to come to a solution. But the second one is once they do have a solution, they need to then be able to communicate to other groups of people how they got to their answer using clear reasoning and justifications when they're actually discussing it. So that then those other people can then take their thinking and then extend beyond there as well. Now, I truly believe that Fraction Talks develop student capacity to do just this. So in this video, we're going to delve much deeper into this activity and see different places where you can go and find examples of Fraction Talks that you can use with your students. Now, in my experience, there are four key phases to running a good Fraction Talks lesson. The first phase is called the show. And during this phase, all you need to do is simply show students the image that you want them to discuss. It's also worth reminding them that they need to be both critical and convincing when communicating about the maths that they see. The next phase is the chat. And during this phase, students simply have a discussion with the person next to them about the image that they see. Once again, remind them that they need to be both critical and convincing when discussing the mathematics. The third phase is called the share. Now during this phase, it's important that you get students to share what came out of their discussion. But as they do this, make sure you write down every response up on the board. Because it's important that students see that you value their responses regardless of whether they're right or wrong. You value their input. And that also then will really set up the next phase of the lesson. That is the reason. And from the reason phase, what that will actually allow you to do is have a chat about well, which reasons or which answers are the best mathematical responses and get the students to use their reasoning to come up with these. Don't you tell them, leave it to the students. And they can do this by simply looking at the two answers and having a debate between them about what they think is best. So there you have it. We have our four key phases for running a good Fraction Talks lesson. That is the show, the chat, the share, and the reason. Let's now have a look at some great places to find excellent examples of Fraction Talks. So here's the Fraction Talks lesson plan that you'll be able to go through and have a look at in your own time. You can see here that there's a lesson plan with different prompts that you can use with your students. And as you come down here, you'll see that there's a whole range of different Fraction Talks examples that you can explore with your students in class. And they start off pretty easy, but then they go down to something quite difficult where you're dealing with triangles of different shapes and sizes. Let's now have a look at another fantastic resource for Fraction Talks, and that is www.fractiontalks.com. And you can see here that there are a number of different examples of fraction talks. And you can go down and choose between squares, triangles, polygons, whatever you like. Let's just have a quick look at the polygons one. So as you can see here, this fraction talks lesson is probably an extension of what we've looked at before because we're now talking about different shapes and sizes when looking at fractions. And you can click on the shapes and you'll find that it's got even more information that you can use to go through and explore when discussing the fractions with your students. So as we've discussed, it's really important that when teaching mathematics, we also teach the four C's. That is communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. And Fraction Talks is a fantastic lesson for doing just this. Whoa, 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 don't leave before subscribing so that that way you can stay up to date with all the videos that we're putting out. Also, don't forget to like and comment below. If you liked any of these videos, make sure you check out our other ones by looking in the playlist over here. My name's Tom Moore, we'll see you next time.